What up world, it's DJ I am Yulisa with another DJ talk. In this one we are talking about how can artists give their music to DJs. But before we get started, I have to make sure that you are subscribed to my channel so you can get more videos and more vlogs. Alright, so I'm going to give it to you short and sweet. So this might be one of my shortest videos that I've done for DJ Talk. How can artists give their music to their DJ? Now this is my opinion, okay? But number one is build a business relationship with the DJ. Yes, because with me, um, the artists in Cleveland, if they come to me with some new music, I'm already build, building a relationship with this person. I've seen this person at several of my gigs. Of course I want to be the first one to break their record. You know what I'm saying? I'm building a friendship, a business relationship with this person. Of course. But if I don't know you, you never introduce yourself to me. You're giving me your USB in the middle of my set. It's Most likely I won't play it. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what you sound like. I don't want to play myself in front of these people this is my gig they booked me so I'm playing your music that I've never heard it's not 99% of the, the time it's not gonna happen so now if my friend that I already built a friendship with that I've known that's doing their thing comes up to me like Julie can you play this I just got done recording this do you mind giving me you know at the end of the night giving me um some play sure I'm gonna do that for you I'll play it because I've already heard him before. I'm familiar with this person. I've seen him several of my gigs. He's a supporter of mine. I'm going to support him. I'm going to break the record that night. Otherwise, don't even get at me. This is just my opinion, by the way. <laughs> All right, number two. No DMs. Say it again. I'm going to say it again. No DMs. Me... And I know several DJs, of course, I talk to the DJ community in my city. And I know other DJs do as well. We really don't care when it comes to D. You are more, pro it, it seems more professional sending it through email. I'm going to be honest. Artists, I don't know if you guys have had any type of uh, management class or anything like that. Or your management team needs to go there. But don't send no DM. Because I'm most likely not checking. First of all, I'm not even checking that side of my DMs because it's is already like a bunch of dms that i don't respond to because obviously they're trying to shoot their shot <laughs> or other things so i don't even look at that side of, of that i you know the, the little side that you can't see unless it's like a number like 10 requested um dms i don't see that side that often and when i do and i see as an artist i don't even respond because you should be sending me an email with this you know what I'm saying? I can't hear your music when you send it through the little um, copy and paste YouTube thing. Sometimes, you, I think now you can, but I don't even look at that. I look for Instagram for entertainment. And yeah, that's entertaining, but I'm just not looking at that. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking for even business purposes. Now, if you ask me, hey, how can I get in touch with you so you can play my music? I Sometimes I reply and say, go through my email. Send me an email with your clean and dirty versions. But most of the time, I don't respond. I know several DJs don't respond. So send an email. Be professional about your business. Number three. Now that you have uh, established this friendship and business relationship with this DJ, you want them to really play your music, can you please send a clean and dirty version to their email? Okay? With... With and this is the, I need every artist in the world to, to to do this. The exact title of the songs that you want them to hear. Sometimes people send me uh, songs, and I listen to it, and it has like minds. Let's just say the song was minds, right? And then when I actually I play and put it in my mix because I mess with it, it's not called minds. It's called I want to be yours. But well, why didn't they? Why didn't you send that when you send it to my email? Like, be specific about your stuff, artists. We don't like messy artists at all. I know I don't. Like, if you don't have your stuff together, I, I'm, I don't even really want to mess with it. You know what I'm saying? So 
please like just be about your business when you send an email send a clean and dirty version and make sure that the proper names are on there also if i never met you before and you're sending me an email please please make sure that you are tagging your your uh, ig because i want to see what you look like i want to see what kind of movement you got what i want to see for approaching someone approaching a dj in a club again if i do not know you okay if i do not know you and you want me to play your music at the club and if you don't have a usb i'm gonna ask you like hey you got a usb cool and then i put it in my pocket and then i'll hear it when i get home i'm most likely not gonna play your song unless somebody co-signed you unless the owner comes and be like hey i know him can you play his song real quick all right you got a usb i'll do it i don't want to because i personally haven't heard the song and i don't even personally even know you you know what i'm saying and the music reflects on me this is my business so i'm not gonna play it of no strength but if it was a, the owner specifically that asked then yeah i'll play it you know what i'm saying but no most likely i'm not gonna play when you approach me at the club i'm not i'm sorry if i don't know you i'm saying this if i don't know you but if i know you obviously i'm gonna show you love but if i don't i'm not gonna play it two artists if you don't have it in usb cord don't think that we're gonna sit during our dj set and download this this um this song from our email no we're not doing that so you can you can forget about that because i personally not doing that especially if i don't know you again if i don't know you because we haven't built a friendship a business relationship so i don't know what you sound like you know what i'm saying so don't even don't even do it all right again this is just basically it's easy it's super easy um i do want to play artists out there and i do most most of the time i do you know especially people that have shown me love through my gigs and have uh show support um i will play their music but if somebody that i don't know comes up to me and even if they're throwing money at me like hey i'll give you a hundred dollars it's really hard for me to turn down money when i'm djing but my business is first my business will always be first I don't know what you sound like. I've never heard you. This music reflects on me. This is my business. I play one wax song, stop the crowd from dancing. They're not going to hire me back in here. So whose fault is that? Not yours, it's mine because I played your music. You know, um, no disrespect because we all want uh, to, we all want to break records. All DJs want to break records in the club. So it's really no disrespect to no artist. It's just you have to build a friendship with us. You have to build a business relationship with us. We got to hear the music before we uh, we get to the club. Send us the music before. You know what I'm saying? And and, and really be supportive of our career because we're supporting yours by playing your music. And come at us correct. Like, yeah, I played a couple of my friends' music. And it, matter of fact, my, my one guy... Shout out to Boss Suchi. He is from Cleveland. Um, he did a song, Neighborhood Superstar, um, the, that night. He came up to one of my gigs. I already built a friendship with him before that. And he was like, hey, Yuli, can you play this tonight? I said, uh, you know, I ain't hear it yet. He threw me a couple bucks. And I said, you know what? I'm going to play it. And Neighborhood Superstar is a banger. You know what I'm saying? It's a ba to me it is. I love that song. Um so I'm glad I played it but you know if it was a stranger I would not play it. I'll go home and hear it and be like, you know, I'll play it the next time I'm in a club. But I'm just saying um it's short and sweet. Just uh build a a business relationship with the DJ and we will play your records. And come at us correct. Come at us correct. Send an email, okay, with a clean and dirty version and the right name of the song. The right name of the song. Also with your information. Like, hey, I made this song. This is what it's called. This is who it's by. And this is my IG in my or, or my website. So we can check you out if we never know who you, if we never met you before. You know what I'm saying? It's very important that you do that. You, you artists are a business, so... You know, handle yourself as such. That's all. Man, it looks like I'm screaming in this video, but I'm really not. You know what I'm saying? I am just really want to put you guys on game because I know a lot of people have hit me up about this video. 
and I'm just giving you the simple facts. You know, like a lot of DJs, we just, we not, I mean, some DJs might do whatever, but I'm telling you the legit DJs, we, we come as a business. We are a business, so we gonna move as such. You know what I'm saying? If we don't know you, we're not gonna play your music in the club while we're DJing. We're not gonna download your song from our email in the club while we're DJing if we don't know you. You know what I'm saying? That's all. Alright guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm not yelling or anything like that. I just wanted to make this video strong because I've gotten a lot of people that really wanted to um, for me to do this video. How can I approach a DJ with my music? Well, here it is. It's short and simple. You know what I'm saying? Approach us the right way and we will play your music. You know, um, that's all. That's all. So if you like this video, let me know. If you don't like it, let me know. I, I want to get better at this. And I just want your feedback. Because you are important to me. My YouTube channel, what up? <laughs> Alright, I'll see y'all in the next DJ talk.